In lesson 11, we're going to create a subgrid using jQuery. Uh, the main grid will use HQL initially, and then the subgrid will use iCriteria initially, and then we'll change uh, those grid populations to use Link2 in Hibernate. Also, we're going to reuse uh, what we did in lesson 10, so if you haven't done that one, go back and do that one. And we're going to modify the index.aspx file and the home controller uh, in the controller's directory. And in the end, like I said, we'll change uh, the product list to use link to in Hibernate. In part one, I'm going to add a new product class and HBM mapping XML file uh, to the project so that these are required for in Hibernate to work. And I downloaded a, a CSS package that, that works good with this uh, uh, jQuery subgrid. So there's lots of them out on the internet. You can just go and search for one. And we're going to add the directive to the grid.subgrid.js uh, JavaScript library to our file so that our subgrid will work. In the end, we want to have some something like this, which has our, our grid, which shows a list of our, of our companies. And then the ability to click and expand it and show a subgrid, which then shows all of the products that are associated to that company. In Lesson 11, we're going to use the table that we created in Lesson 5. So if you need to review on how to create a table, you can go use Lesson 5 and use that to build this specific table. But if you already know how, here is the structure and the and and the data types as well as the data that I use. So I went ahead and and copied lesson 10 and renamed the directory to lesson 11. So let's go do file open project solution and let's find a lesson 11, which is just a copy of lesson 10. And I renamed the directory to, to lesson 11. Let's open this project solution. So the first thing we want to do is go add our product class. So let's right click, add class. Let's call it product. And basically it will have the same properties as the columns in your database table. So part ID, company ID, price, part description, and creation date. So next let's go and create our, our mapping file. Right click, add new item. Let's go into data, XML file. Let's call it product.hbm and add it. And so you'll see we have our our namespace and our and our assembly names lesson 10. I, le I left it uh, as lesson 10 for simplicity reasons. The name of the class is product, and then, and the name of the table that we're going to be extracting this data from is called product. And then we have our IDs, which are part ID and company ID, price, part description, and creation date, which is which contains the same uh, properties as our product class does. So it's very important after we finish uh, creating the HBM file, or mapping files, that, that we go and we right click on it and select properties. And in the build action, very important to select embedded resource. In Hibernate needs that in order to, to function correctly. So next let's go and install our Cascading style sheet. I downloaded this one from the internet, jQuery UI 1.8.4. It's the humanity one. It has some, some images and the capability to support the, the, uh, the uh, subgrid uh, functionality. So let's start by creating a directory. Open up the contents, the content, right click, add, new folder, and we'll call it jqgrid. Next, let's navigate to where we saved our project, our lesson 11. Navigate down to the content and to the JQ grid, and then copy these files into the JQ grid.
directory. So from the downloaded zip file, uh, I have this uh, jQuery UI 1.8.4 uh, cascading style sheet. I got the UI JQ grid uh, and the images. So go find those files in the zip and paste them into the into the JQ grid folder that we just created. Next, let's go add those files to our project. Need to add both this one and this one. Add. And then let's navigate to our in the views shared site master. And we are replacing this one. with the, the reference to the two new cascading style sheets that we just added, which are the uijqgrid.css and our humanity one. Next, let's go add our, our reference to our subgrid. Let's put it in here. Let's add existing item. Let's navigate to our scripts, source, and let's find the subgrid, JavaScript library, let's add it. And because we installed and configured the, the JavaScript uh, jQuery, JQ grid libraries in Lesson 10, then all we have to do is add it like this. And now let's go into our views home index directory and add the reference to our subgrid JavaScript library.